Hey folks, Keith Gibson here for the LE Adapter and LensAdapter.net. I want to share with you some things about the LE Adapter that make it special versus the other brands. The number one thing that stood out in my mind the first time I handled it was the fact that these screws right here adjust spring tension. That means it can slide over any optic. doesn't matter what shape it is, you can get a good lock on it. Even these rubber eyepieces, you can slide right over it and get a nice lock. The other thing is because you can adjust these individually, you can actually can't the iPhone from the back. So if your eyepiece isn't in alignment, no problem. You just twist one more than the other, get the effect that you want. You can leave vignetting in so it looks like you're actually looking through a scope, or you can completely get it out of there by zooming in with your iPhone and snugging up the LE adapter. Now the sleeve on this is genius. It locks in very securely. I've been using it a lot. It's as simple as sliding it in like that. You cannot shake it out. You cannot recoil it out. I had this on my 308 and nothing happened in terms of picture moving. Um, that phone is actually so secure that if you want it to come out, I find it's easiest if you take your finger and lift up just a little bit so that you can start the process of it sliding out. It's a really secure lock. And I like the way that I don't have to use another piece that swings back here and then tightens down. The other cool part about LEs, um, they actually make a couple different models. This one is specifically designed to go on the end of a PBS 14. I'm sure you're familiar with it. It's one of the most popular night vision devices in the world. And it's an ingenious design in that it simply threads into the end of the eyepiece. That's it. Same thing again, you have those very easy to use by hand, no tools required. You can adjust the spring tension to make it fit over almost any optic that you want. If you want to put night vision on the back of your spotting scope, it's as simple as opening them up, sliding it down onto the eyepiece, tighten, 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 and you have a secure mount that's going to allow you to view through the nighttime and now I have 20 to 60 power nighttime viewing. This was a simple add-on that I did. It is another IR beam, another IR torch, simply sitting on top of a Picatinny rail. This is another fine example of how an LE adapter can do whatever you want it to do. I took another different brand of night vision and coupled it to my Vortex scope on my AR. It's a simple setup. It just takes a few seconds. Literally, it's on and off, just like that. It can't be any simpler than that. And like I said, if you wanted to couple your phone to the back of this as well, just to keep it going and show you how versatile it is, you slide that on there, this over here, tighten down your screws again, and you got viewing. Now, obviously, it gets a little funky if you add too many devices because you start to lose the capability of eye relief, but it's an easy fix. Just configure your weapon how you want it. Now, if you were to take this simple setup right here, you can view as far as you want at night um, through the capability of the PVS-14 or if you have a higher capability night vision, you may actually be able to do better. It's all dependent, of course, on your IR as well, and you can add an extra torch like that if you like. But the long and short of it is the LE is what makes this coupling possible. It's what makes it so simple to just set up and go. Now I left the light on in the background so you have a chance at seeing. We have that same AR with the same scope and night vision on the back. And then we have the same exact spotting scope with the IR on it. And what we've done is hooked up the iPhone so that now we can see our target. If you look out there, that's where it is. Look down here, bright as day. It's just like you're looking through the viewfinder on the, the PVS-14. Now, this is zoomed in a little bit. We can zoom out. You'll see the vignetting or the circle, if you will. And then if you zoom back in, it completely goes away. This is a silhouette with a dull colored t-shirt and ball cap on. Now it shows up very well, it's about 125 yards away. Since we're already rolling on this camera and on the iPhone, the iPhone, we will take the shot. But imagine how easy it would be to verify if this is the actual target that you want. There is no, well sir, I thought it's, I sent you the video, I sent you the image, you said it was a go. I touched it off. You're not going to see much because, again, it is pitch black dark out here except for the light behind us. But we are rolling. The weapon is hot. 
Safety off. Commence fire. The weapon is hot. Safety off. Commence fire. Target down. How easy is that to go ahead and say, I have confirmed hit, I have it on cam, we will go ahead and take the shot, we'll have it on camera, it'll be a verified hit or miss either way, but no matter what, there's going to be no questioning what actually transpired on this target encounter. Safety off, commence firing. Two hits on target. It's all on tape. There's no questioning what happened. It's a beautiful thing.